So, guys, if you haven't seen this film, get on out of here because um, <laughs> we're going to talk spoilers now. And uh, I, I think I, I really like. So, I think what should we talk about the main twist here to start off? Or are we gonna you know start at the end and then we'll do you work our way back? Do you want to <laughs> go from the no, start? Like, or? Let's, start, let's start from the beginning a little bit. Yeah, I think because I really loved how they started with um, her as a kid. It really sets her up as kind of the the main protagonist mm. um, slash antagonist, I guess. Um, I, I loved that air of mystery. That entire first scene where she's going through the Soul Search uh, amusement park, I, I thought was very well shot. Really well. Um, executed. So creepy too. So, so creepy. Um, and just that being around. in that hall of mirrors mm. kind of gave me anxiety. <laughs> yeah. And you um, knew from the trailers exactly what was going to happen. And it was like, I oh, don't like this. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> but um, I, I loved how that's, they, they, they kind of started it. And then they did this mechanic throughout the, the movie, which I really enjoyed, which is they kept flashing back to what happened post that. I thought that was very cool. Mm. I thought that was, that was very, you know, and really also pre, you see the situation from multiple um, different viewpoints. We're not doing this pre thing again, are we? But you do. When? Well, at the end, where they're reliving when she's when she's reliving in the tunnel, she's looking up and they're reliving that scenario, but from a different. So what perspective. I said is everything post her meeting herself in the um, vision. Yeah, but I'm saying I'm saying you relive back. the whole sequence again oh, multiple I, I times. I, I see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, okay. So like, you know, you kind of revisiting. multiple times. It's not really what <laughs> yeah. you said. You said pre, but whatever. Um, <laughs> you're giving me that. I want to fuck you up. eyes. No, it's fine. <laughs> um, you, you, you nitpick away. My <laughs> you, you nit- I know you love it. So, you know, anyway, I'm not going to take it away from you. Oh, so sassy. <laughs> um, so I really love that mechanic throughout the, the film. I thought it gave it a bit of extra layer. Right off the bat, I was kind of put at ease with the the idea that this was more than just kind of a hook or a gimmick. Yeah, that was nothing that I got from the trailer was that, you know, we see this event um, 30 years ago that um, really contextualizes how we see this stuff happening again uh, later on. Yeah. Um, and it, it, it really adds an awesome element to, to um, that main character um, Lupita Nyong'o's character mm. and and how she sees all of this stuff. Yeah, it, it's sort of the thing that sort of you know grounds the whole piece. So it, it was it was very creepy, and that that I really enjoyed the aesthetic that seemed to kind of weave its way through the piece, which was that sort of facade or that you know the fairground. Um, I, I'm not even sure how to really describe it, I, I, and maybe I haven't quite um, nailed this thought down, but something about the yeah, I, I don't know. I, I just enjoyed the aesthetic of the fairground and how mm. he presented that. Yeah. And then right on to, like, I don't want to describe it, you know, just scene for scene, but I think it's a really cool transition from when she kind of turns around and she sees her or doesn't turn around or whatever she does. She see, yeah, she sees herself. And then it goes into that really long shot of the um, the rabbits or the mm. hares. And, and, and just with that, for that really for me was like that music. And I was like, fuck, so yes. Good, yeah. So awesome, and and really glad I, this is a movie I got to see in a uh, in a cinema mm. as well because uh, just that mix of really good sound and those visuals is is really impressive. Yeah, and it's, it's so evocative, like it just throws any number of possibilities at you when you're just oh. looking at this wall of cages filled with rabbits, and you know some somewhat about the premise going in. It's like your mind's just reeling. What's gonna happen yeah. with those bunnies? <laughs> yeah, we well, just like, like, how do they fit into it? Mm. Um, and then it goes immediately to them in the car, and you're just trying to think like. Okay, that was a very odd scene to put there. It, it broke up the earlier, like it was good that it didn't go from her being a kid straight to her being an adult. I liked that there was a little bit of a, a mix in there. Um, yeah, we also didn't mention right at the beginning the text that came up with the tunnels and all that yeah. stuff. So that was really, that threw me quite a lot. And then mm. there was a lot of different things going on here the rabbits, the kid, the flashback. And then we're in the car and they were like, okay, now I kind of know where we're at in terms of what we've seen in the trailer. I kind of know the beats for the next little yeah. portion. So. So we kind of get right into it. And, and one of the things that I thought was very interesting about this film is that they get to the whole premise really quickly. Like they get to the to the point where the doubles are there. I felt like that was very early on in the film. And I was immediately kind of like, oh shit, like if we're already here, what's left? Like what what's going to fill up the next hour and a half or an hour? Once, you'd, film? once you'd seen virtually all of the trailer, there was definitely that feeling of like, and what what's he got up his sleeve? Like, yeah. what, is, what is the rest of this? Yeah, um, and that uh, that initial home invasion is so fantastic. Uh, it's like that 
gave me such anxiety mm. because again, there was there was really very little out of the trailer that you could just go like, I, I recognize him from a scene that's later on in the film. He's mm. going to survive. Like mostly referring to the dad. Mm. Um, you know, I was just like, oh, there was a lot of times watching that. I was like, oh, he's dead. Yeah, I mean. Like, that was a thought that went through my head. Mbaku gets taken out very quickly and it's it's unsettling. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, we didn't talk about the scene with Lupita Nyong'o um, staring out the window, speaking with Winston Duke, mm. um, sort of recounting the story and, and going back to that flashback and kind of always recontextualizing what we're seeing there. But that was the first time, and maybe we can reference that later, but that's the first time I was like, okay, well, there's something up with Lupita Nyong'o. Yeah. Like, mm. She's got an, an air about her that's not meshing with her. Her husband is so much more lighthearted and there was a, a dichotomy there that I was taking note of subconsciously. Like, yeah, same. And I, I guess one of the the only, I don't, like, you know, one of the things that I was interested in is you didn't really get to see them as them before the event, I guess. Like, you know, there's a lot of kind of, if, if someone kind of goes to the dark side type thing, they show them a lot, like, happier and stuff and this she kind of seemed a little bit off throughout the the entire movie there's something a little bit strange well yeah and i guess they set that up with uh you know she was just nervous about going back there um but yeah we didn't talk about the beach scene as well which i think was incredibly well handled i mean it wasn't like there was anything popping up. It wasn't like there was anything that horrific or, just or something. But it's just the anxiety, the suspense, and the mm. anxiety and the tension. It was all there, and just it was the, the, enthralling. The, the degree to which um, Lupita was scared of yeah. these various different things just really sold. Like, fuck, what happened when she was a kid? Like, this is so. Like, yeah. what was already unsettling is just building this dread. Yeah, yeah. So we get to that point where the the you know the the, the doubles are there and. I don't know about you guys, but the first time that that uh, Nyong'o's double spoke was just that was grating. I was like, oh, like not just her voice, but like it made their hairs on the back of my neck yeah. stand up. There was actually mm. a few sequences in that invasion scene where you know sometimes in a horror film your hairs will stand up on the back of your neck and you're going to go, ooh. <laughs> yeah. Literally, ooh. they were like, I was like, yeah. oh, but like they were holding there, and I was like, I am getting the chills, like. Well, for second after second after second after second. Yeah. And I was like, well, that's a testament to how well this guy's handling the sequence. I think yeah. um, Nyong'o, uh, Elizabeth Moss, and also, um, I'm going to get this name completely wrong, uh, Shahad, oh no, I'm, I'm not, Shahadi Wright Joseph. <laughs> um, all th- those three characters, the the alternates, so Red, uh, Dahlia, and uh, Umbre, um are I thought were spectacularly creepy. So that's the the mom, the daughter, and then Elizabeth Moss's double. Um, the, the other, the other mother. The the other mother when she's putting on the lipstick and she's mm. smiling, or that 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 silent scream slash laugh. Mm. That kind of shit was terrifying. I think that's that's such a testament to their um, their acting ability. That that uh, I mean, um, Shahadi's constant kind of smile. It's fucking terrifying. So this movie's batting a thousand and running along exactly as you expect it to. Mm-hmm. Um, and then the, the shakeup comes when we go to the other family's house. Um, that was the first shakeup, yeah. And then the then the scope of it expands immediately. Yeah. Um, so it's not just that. Can, can, I just say, can I just derail this for one second? Uh, just just quickly with Lupita Nyong'o's performance in that scene like when on the couch, mm. you know, in the living room. Mm. I was feeling like, okay, this is kind of a tragic character. You know, I was yeah. like, I felt sorry for that character, mm. you know, and I was like, wow, okay, where are we going here? Jordan Peele, you fucking got me. Mm-hmm. Like yeah. at this point, it's like, you got me in the palm of, my, of your hands. Well, I don't know anything that happens after this, supposedly, as we've talked about. Mm. The trailer, we've pretty much seen everything up until now. Where are we going from here? Who the fuck knows? Mm. And then we do go to the, the house, obviously. And well, I mean, even before the that, I, I love Winston Duke um, battling himself. I thought that was fantastic. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like just this kind of um, when the boat comes back to him mm. and, and he's like fucking left. Yeah, 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 yeah. Which is a good example of, I think Jordan Peele blends once again, horror and comedy into this really spectacularly. Yeah. I yeah. Know, you did a very good job of that. Yeah, it's not this really like a, a, oppressive dread, like you're afraid for the characters, but I don't know, when it did start showing those light 
moments. I'm like, mm. okay, I'm not afraid someone's gonna they're gonna get their head caved in on the screen, and I'm gonna have to sit here being sad about you know someone losing their family member. Yeah, mm. like it was so watchable in that way. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah, you're right. The, the the first big, I guess, sh- shake up or the, tw- the first twist is they're not the only family that has these doubles. This is obviously happening um, across. Uh, a number of different families and most importantly was when they chucked on the tv you're like this is happening well i was about to say everywhere but there's not they don't really give scope onto how how america broad well i say it's just america yeah Yeah. well i i I, I was even trying to think it maybe it's just the the theme maybe just the eastern seaboard or or based on the the, opening text you know just saying this tunnel's all under the u.s i'm saying it's united states yeah and, and um the sequence of the, yeah. you know, the TV sequence. And the mother's like, let's go to Mexico. And she obviously knows, in retrospect, she knows a lot more about this situation than yeah. um, we would have thought. Yeah. So Mexico presumably is safe. It does, yeah. Safer. So um, <laughs> that that I really dug. I thought that was very cool that this was like, suddenly the, the scope of this was opened up. And I was like, all right, that's how they're going to make this more than just a home invasion horror type thing instantly it's kind of a survival movie and i was like oh fuck i'm so down with this loved them taking out the family like the two kids just like nodding to each other and just deciding to go ham on the on the girls was really cool and just to rewind that was one of the most successful kind of bunches of scares in the film was mm-hmm. when like the twins are up on the up on the balcony area oh, and yeah, the, yeah, talk yeah. to the parents and the other ones just come out from behind mm-hmm. and take them Ooh, love it. And, and it's elizabeth moss correct mm. yeah her her um her sequence of putting on the lipstick, mm. wow. Like I was so impressed with that. Mm. I, I thought like once you know what happens, once you think about that in retrospect with what what the, happens in the story, what the fuck? No. <laughs> you, 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 it really, it's like, wow, that's, that is, that what she's trying to convey there is fascinating. Yeah. Fascinating. Yeah, it it. It it, the, the, it just what you're seeing really starts expanding at a very rapid rate, and yeah. it's showing a lot of stuff. And and it shows John Peel's comedy, the quite dark comedy, with like the table and there's like the corpse <laughs> on the table. And they're all sitting around. <laughs> sitting it's got around. this sort of yeah. tongue and cheek, um, you know, slapsticky kind of vibe, which it's I, I enjoyed. That blend. I was mm. really impressed with that. Great use of tension and then release. Yeah. You know, very dynamic yeah. and just. So crowd pleasing, like cheers in the cinema. Everyone's at, going nuts. Like when the twin gets knocked over. Oh, the I would have loved to have seen that. When, when she's shaking her arm. Yeah. 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 I was like, Ew. goes off. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So good. Uh, I love little moments like, you know, anyone got the keys? You just see everyone look at each other and be like, oh, fuck. Yeah. Those, those little moments of levity yeah. in between uh, um, everything else was really, really enjoyable. Um, so that, I mean, f- that's shake up number one. Shake up number two. Comes a little bit later. Um, there's one scene that I want to point out. The the scene with the sun and like backing up and and having the double back up. I don't know why I enjoyed that scene so much, but it was such a cool like, ah, oh, like the, the sun's got this shit together. I liked mm. that. Um, but the next big shakeup really is finding out that this tether is a government experiment. And that was my, like throughout the, the series or throughout the, um, I guess not the series, the the movie. My big question was: Is Jordan Peele going to go down the horror route, like the 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 traditional horror route, so something supernatural, or is quite literally? I was like, or is this a government government experiment? Um, and I was like, he's pretty much got two options in this. You know, it'd be, it'd be cool if he kind of took it some other way, but that's the only way that I saw. It was like pretty broad categories yeah i was um, sort of thinking like is it going to be supernatural or is it going to be are these actual real people yeah and, yeah you know. um i i i don't know if the, i preferred either um one of the things that i was kind of hoping that he might or kind of hoping that he would do but i didn't think he would what is that he would just leave it a mystery like he wouldn't solve it for you and i i kind of dug that ambiguity um because i always find that if you explain some of this stuff, you either have to do a really good job or it's going to feel just a little bit unsatisfying. I don't know if you get that when you kind of watch this kind of stuff, but with this, it was like, it's either, it either fits perfectly together and is really cohesive and really satisfying, or it's just not going to quite get there. So I guess, doesn't bother me. so the, you know, you, you, Lupita Nyong'o's character goes into the, the room and she's got all the, the she's drawing on the, the, the board and explaining that it they, they're clones. They're, yeah, they're clones yeah, they're and clones. there's there's a dark side and a good side and, and the one, the clone above controls the one below. And um, this was the linchpin moment. This was the moment where I was sitting in the cinema going, 
you know, do I buy into this? And will the rest of the audience buy into it? And there's a lot of different layers to this that I think makes it a little more interesting than most like, this is what's happening kind of dialogues. Yeah. The first of which being is like, this is quite an unreliable narrator. This is not really uh, a very stable character. And just quickly, she literally says once the explanation starts, like what I think is happening is that someone found a way to duplicate the body but not the soul. She literally says, I think this. Yeah. Um, which is a, a, a huge element of that, I think. And, and, I th- and that's, that's what I'm leaning into is like, is, she, is what she's saying actually what happened? And that's a whole other layer to this that I, what it makes me love us even more is that you can look at this in many different ways and you can choose from your own life perspective what you've seen in your life how do you feel about it? Do you, do you like, you know, and, yeah. and, and some people will fall maybe where you fall, Connor, where it's maybe, maybe it's over explained or it doesn't quite fit. Actually, I'll, I'll be honest, that, that, that's not how I feel about that at all. I, I, I was on board with that. You know, I, 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 particularly be, not just because of the explanation itself, but the way that the explanation was given, like that, you know, from her and, and that, that shot where the mom is creeping up behind herself and like that really convinced me that this was the way to go. Um, in terms of that, uh, also I just wanted to buy in cause I, I was kind of invested in the film and I was like, I'm going to go with this. Um, do you know what really sold me on it though? Like this, this, this entire thing was the, what happened after that, that fight scene, mm. the combination of the music and that choreography mm. was fucking spectacular. That's mm. one of the best choreographed fight scenes I have seen in a very long time. I'll agree with that, man. Like that, oh, was, fuck, that was, and good. it cut between the ballet as well. Oh. Mm. And it was just so well handled. Like it was like a dance almost. Like it, well, it was, I mean, like it was just that, that scene blew me away. I was so impressed with it. I absolutely loved it. Yeah. Like it didn't feel like um, clone mm, Lupita's uh, movements felt very, uh, you know, intentional and choreographed. But the other half of it didn't. Mm. Like she felt like she was just swinging for the fences, but it, it, it all fit together so perfectly. Mm. Yeah. Um, so there's two things that kind of bugged me. This is this is where my where things went from just kind of. Should we should we just talk, should we just finish off all the plot details and then or, or does this weave into it, sort it of things? Okay, it, it cool, 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 cool. So this is this is where like up until now there was a lot of questions kind of swirling in my heads, things that I wasn't quite sold on, or all that kind of stuff. This is where it went from just being uncertain to I I wasn't overly impressed. One was how she kills her. I felt like there should have, like, I mean, it was such a drastic change in how the, the fight had been going that like at no point did she seem like she was winning and then she just won. Mm. And to me, that seemed a bit weird. Like I wanted there to be some kind of mechanic to explain how that happened. Like, was she faking the entire time? Was there, like, what was it about her that allowed her to win that fight? That bothered me because that was never alluded to. There was no mechanic that allowed her to do it. She just, she lost that fight incredibly convincingly, and then she didn't. Yeah, I'd have to watch to really comment on that because they, yeah. That immediately got me. Fair enough. But what I will say is the animalistic instinct and the performance from her finishing off the, the you know well she's the doppelganger yeah. uh, that was I was blown away I was like Foof. that that I, and in that moment I was like there we go that she's the bad guy she's, yeah she's fucking killed the good the good guy yeah. and then and that that kind of led me into the what did you what did you think what did you think Benny uh yeah I think if anything her winning that fight I I don't disagree with what you're saying but. It, it almost just acts as a, as a clue to her being the doppelganger because yeah. the doppelgangers have shown themselves to be superior in that regard in every instance during the film pretty much, um, in particular when going, playing against their own double. Um, so I think you, that kind of happens and it's a shocking moment then the way it plays out is like, oh, yeah, okay, yeah. Yeah, and that, that really kind of animalistic. So this was the, the, the kind of really teary moment where you're like, oh, that's where it's going. I kind of held out hope because I didn't want them to go down that direction because it felt so gotcha. Um, the I kind of hoped that it was more of a commentary on like her, the the original Nyanga being like tapping into that animalistic sense and being able to kind of 
you know, tap into to what the doppelgangers were using to just to, to defeat her. I was like, oh, that could be cool if that's what just is happened. And then like that's what's freaking the kid out and all that kind of stuff. I was like, oh, I'm I'm kind of down with that. It was when they did the full reveal of like, hey, she's the other one, and they they switched and oh, gotcha. That part I was like, oh, wish he hadn't done that. I love just, that. Well, it, but for me, it was like, why? What's the purpose of that? That just that just feels like a gotcha moment because that movie didn't need that. It didn't need that ending. Like, what what is it? How does that? I think add it to did. Anything? I think it desperately did. And I was feeling in that, you know, I, I was I remember feeling like we need another. There's another layer to this. I just and, wish and we it hadn't been so gotcha. Like it was just. It felt like. Yeah, I f- I feel like I it was it so be- well telegraphed throughout so much of the movie that it, it was it, yeah exactly so it didn't feel like a haha like i didn't come out of nowhere you know like there were several instances that were hinting at it yeah um, but i mean like i just kind of want to know why though like it just it, it and that's that's feel... something that everyone's going to have to work out in their own reading of the film i yeah. think because it's so early for us to even be talking about a movie this dense i feel um you know we can argue for forever about how mm. successful jordan peele was about what he meant to do with this film, but ultimately everyone has to make up their own mind about what they think it is doing. And um, I'm not, I'm even not sure exactly at this point what it means that they switched in 1986 um, and what that means for the rest of it. I I will say watching it a second time was a fantastic experience. Mm. Um, Knowing that the whole time, mm. well, um, the really not speaking, so much. And the, like there's so many clues to, well, yeah, to but kind just, of just in, the... in in her performance and mm. her interactions with the other, mm. um, it makes it a whole different movie. Which I, I love being able to do that. Yeah, which I think he did as well with Get Out. I think he yeah. had exactly the same thing. He's very very good at that. He's good at leaving the trail of breadcrumbs. So when you see it the second time, you're like, oh, fuck, there, there was clues the whole way along. So but this, obvious. When and, 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 and so I go back and I go back to Lupita Nyong'o in the lounge room. She's, she's, you feel sorry for this character. There's a level of compassion. Like she's the bad guy. They've invaded the house. Why do I feel sorry for this character? Mm. Okay, like that's where, you know, and then even before that, Lupita Nyong'o in the bedroom, talking to Winston Duke, looking out the window, telling this, recounting the story. Similarly there, like kind of like she seems off. Mm-hmm. You know, and I feel like he had enough in there. And ultimately, ultimately, a part of my reading of us is it's almost like Jordan Peele trying to do an episode of the Twilight Zone, I feel. I feel like it's got a very Twilight, the Twilight Zone, Zone feel. Twilight Zone has always felt and, a bit gotcha, doesn't it? Yeah, and exactly. And that's where he need, he wanted to have that M. Night Shyamalan, that Twilight Zone twist at the end. I feel like it's very intentional and I think it's very successful. And from that point, reading, I... I, I but that's kind of my makes point. Makes a lot of sense. That, that's my point. Like Shyamalan's greatest, um, I guess, failing is his own success. And, and that success particularly tied to his his whole- As long as the I'm twist- do a twist. Yeah. Like it, and it, and you, like you go into a Shyamalan thing, like totally. knowing that there's going to be a twist. And he's making a film knowing that there's going to be a twist. Totally. I hate twists for the sake of twists. And this switch, particularly at the end- it's a doppelganger end, film, I mean. At the end, that felt- like more of a twist. Like the the twists that you find in Get Out feel more natural. They feel more kind of. Uh, but it but it's disturbing. sprinkled in there the whole way through. She's not. As I'm not you saying. Said, it, I'm not talking. saying it doesn't. Ha- it's it. I don't mean it in the sense of that it came out of left field because there's plenty of evidence to suggest that she mm-hmm. was the the doppelganger that they yeah. had switched. Um, I mean that was something that I thought was a possibility. You just can't see any point on. to it. Yeah, that's that's my that's yeah. my. That, that's what irks me like b- but why other than for it to be a twist i see i i understand that i feel like on a rewatch on many rewatches you will get a lot out of the film based on that knowledge mm-hmm. coming in with it from the beginning um i guess it, like it for me it works in films like shutter island it works in um you know sixth sense like that kind of see, i would say shutter island is much more twist for sake of a twist like no, I, it, I don't because it, it, I, it's I just very that, emotionally impactful, but it renders so much of the movie essentially pointless. Well, no, because there, there's no there's no definitive nature to the end. The end, like with with that, it's very much left up to the audience member whether that is true or not. Mm. Like whether he is insane. Like there's no kind of definite answer. Yeah, you with, can watch from both perspectives. That's kind of why I was hoping that they wouldn't go through with that final twist. 
keep it a little bit, you know, you never really know, mm. give that kind of the conversation. But this kind of felt more of a, hey, you know, that thing that we were alluding to that you were, you know, maybe you knew about, maybe you didn't, that that was how it went down. And, and, and when you, at the end of it, when you ask why, there's no real kind of, it doesn't add to the story necessarily. Like the overall I think it does. Arc. I think there's a really major theme here of um, double identity and, you know, there's a bit of good and bad in everyone. There's no pulp extremes. Mm. You know, the dark side had some good, like it coexisted in the world and was able to fully live as a normal human being. And and the twins as well, the, sorry, the, the kids, the kids are half clone. Mm. If you think about it, if Lupita Nyong'o's clone had them, they're half clones. So being a clone doesn't necessarily mean, or being the dark side doesn't necessarily mean that you're bad. And I think there's also a class there's a, there's a something about class in here where you have the lower tier society and you have the upper tier society yeah and you and, have that control it's it's a lot of nature versus nurture as well which is yeah. um moving her from that world where it would be easy without the twist to assume that the doppelgangers are inherently evil but then um having <laughs> it in there having <laughs> do we have can we just pause oh <laughs> uh, well we just that was my thing now pretty much where i was going to end <laughs> mm. George decided to end a little bit early. How, how have you been otherwise? Uh, yeah, I've been thinking about this movie quite a bit, actually. Mm. It, I find it very, it, it, it is very strange to me because it's, the craft of it is so excellent, but I just, I can't get out of my head that that, that ending just doesn't seem to have, I don't know. I, just, I guess I, I don't feel like it has a purpose. Mm. I think I was in a closer place to you before I saw it a second time. Um, and I would love to see it a second time because I think oh, that... definitely. I was I was really gearing up to see it a third time before this. Unfortunately, I didn't get the, the chance. Yeah. But um, um yeah, I, I I don't know. Where were we? <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's kind I'm of what we ended up. I'm watching George. I, <laughs> I mean, the only other thing that I'll say is I, I loved... Um, there was a, a scene that we haven't spoke about that I particularly love, which is um, uh, Winston Duke fighting Tim uh, Heidecker. Um, when, term, you know, his, his doppelganger is coming down and he's doing like the weird, like kind of pantomime or type thing um, that I fucking loved. It was cool. It was interesting how they were able to make him still very much a doppelganger in the same vein as the other ones, but just completely different tonally. Yeah. Like they all had like weird kind of, um, you know, basic, like they, it's like they had taken the kind of their worst qualities and just kind of condensed it into mm. a, I think like you could just see that there was like an asshole zombie, mm. um, which I thought was really cool. Um, yeah. Look, Have we finished uh, up on the ending? Yeah. Look, we, I have, d- we haven't gone all the way yet. Cause, cause I, I think oh, well, the only thing that we haven't talked about is the, the hands across America. Thing, yeah. Which I, I think that's a really important component to this. And for me, I took that as, this should be treated as a very allegorical, metaphorical yeah. thing. Yeah. And and people trying to say, oh, they're walking in tunnels and like people on roller coasters and like the realism of that. It, it's more and, and this is what this is what I was trying to say at the beginning when I was talking about the um the facade of the playground and like the stage show and like the theatrics of it. it there's something there within, at least for me right now, there's something in there about the just with that 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 layer there, oh, I'm not getting my words out. I'm not following it, my it, ideas it's right it's now. It's hard not to look at it. Uh, maybe Al- the allegorical, yeah. metaphorical nature of it, as it, opposed to a literal, actual account of something. I feel it, like anyone getting caught up on the logistics, the mechanics of this movie, yeah. I, re- I feel sorry for because I see I, I've looked a lot, at a lot of reviews, and a lot of people just arguing their fucking. Yeah. How do they out. get the red jumpsuits? How do they, how how do they, they get, get the scissors? scissors? It's like. I, I just feel that's like not you, have, the point. you haven't actually seen this movie, unfortunately. That's not the point of the film. Um, yeah, like that's a way to watch movies. It's a cinema sins way to watch movies. But uh, I, yeah. I, 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 was so, I was so happy that on my second viewing of this, I didn't care much about it the first time. I cared zero about it the second. Mm. So that was that was a really nice way to watch it. Yeah. I mean, there, uh, there are legitimately things to be said for, I mean, like you can only take the um, allegorical, metaphorical type thing excuse to a certain extent. Like at some point you do want some kind of mechanical... Um, you know, you you want some kind of continuity or, or you know, kind of mechanical sense to a film, um, but uh, I, I don't think that this was particularly egregious in the way that it breached that. So I, I I had the feeling that you were going to hate that. 
because um, of no, that. No, not really. Because you do have that where if it doesn't make sense in the reality base, sometimes it does. It sometimes it irritates you. I, mean, I kind you. of, I kind of left that at the door when uh, at the trailer when there was clones. I mean, you kind of have to at some point. Like, this is only going to like. If, but you could if, still if, make that government government's conspiracy work if he did it in a different way. You yeah, like that's still... a simple sci-fi concept. But there's yeah. the 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 tether in a, thing in, a, is... literal, in a literal sense, this movie doesn't work at all. Like, there are so yeah. many. Oh, there's so many know, like plot holes as to the mechanics of it. Yeah. Um. So it is very algo. It, it's hard not to um look at it in in the sense of you know Jordan Peele tends to deal with aspects of racism and um. In, in particular, uh, kind of the black community in America. So it's hard not to look at the film in that, with that kind of, um, you know, those kind of glasses, like to, to view it in that. And I think that uh, that's probably how it was intended um, to kind of look at the metaphors and Al Gore, you know, kind of a sub society of people that are, you know, feeding Controls, off this, yeah. yeah, kind of thing. So that's, I mean, it, it feels very much metaphorical. Um, but yeah, the the whole hands across America thing, I just it feels particularly allegorical and, and metaphorical mm. on it, and that I, I was like, I could, I you know, for me it was kind of I can take it or leave it. I'm not too fussed with that aspect. It, it, it's probably one of the aspects that's going to annoy a lot of people, um, just because it seems so out of place in this. Like you know, there's so many questions about it that don't seem to fit in. Like why the fuck are they holding hands across America? Mm. But um, that for me, I was kind of like, yeah, well, whatever. Yeah, well, I, I think the the best way to take that is not as you know why the fuck is this happening, but just why is this happening, and just yeah. to, to to kind of live with that and, and ask yourself those questions. I do love watching it the second time you know, when uh, Jason first encounters the guy on the beach, and then you you realize he's standing there. He's the first one in the chain. Um, yeah, like just standing there with his arms out. That's such a cool visual. Um, you were saying earlier you 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 wish the twist at the end had been more uh, ambiguous. Um, I think that there is an ambiguous twist at the end. Um, I don't know how intentional it is. It's it's kind of making the rounds on the internet as well. I, I don't think it really occurred to me the first time watching it, but it's um, Jason and Pluto. Did they swap as well at some point? Because um, a lot of people think maybe mm. before the events of the film or after the events of the flashback, before the, the modern day events, did the two sons swap at some point? Because there's a lot of, a lot of stuff there. Um, right down to the ending, you know, where they look at each other and there's that moment of recognition and there's multiple ways to take that. The most obvious being that he knows she's, she's a clone. Um, but you know, the, the other way where he, you know, he just puts his mask down and the fact that he has that mask the whole time, I, there's, there's a, a lot of fun stuff there mm, that yeah. you, you can kind of live on. Yeah. yeah, I've, yeah I've seen a lot of people bring some interpretations that weren't necessarily successful from, from my logic, mm. but well, it's it's cool that there's a, so many ingredients here. There's almost like a sandbox that Jordan Peele's put out for you to come up with your own interpretation. Mm. And that's what I love about this film. Yeah, Anyone can say whatever they want about it, you know? Yeah. Yeah. They can get pissed off about it, but ultimately there's so many different ways you can look at it. I just think that's a successful film. And this is a successful piece of art. Mm. Yeah. Um, something very interesting. And th this kind of adds a little bit of layers. Have either of you looked up the Bible verse that kind of goes throughout this entire Jeremiah 11, 11. Yeah. Mm. Do you know oh yeah. No, I've heard of the 11, so 11. I'll, uh, I'll run through the, the actual quote. Well, there's a couple of different ways to do it, but generally it's, um, therefore this is what the Lord says. I will bring on them a disaster. They cannot escape. Although they cry out to me, I will not listen to them. Um, very kind of, biblical wrath old testament type shit um and it kind of obviously very much applies to this event in that they are just kind of mercilessly coming up with this disaster for for americans in general um and the uh i guess the context within that that verse is something also looked up um and, it, and it's actually worth reading the lines before and after that particular verse and it gives a lot of context to this film um it's essentially about uh, the sins of the forefathers um, when they come to uh, like it, it's an old promise that they made that they broke um, and that uh, they are now paying for mm. um, which is very much in line with the film like it's none of these people know about the tethered none of these people are at fault um, but they will they will be, have uh, retribution taken upon them nonetheless um, it, it like for me reading that I was I'm that aspect of it makes me think oh makes me want to sit jordan peele down and ask him like 
what the hell is this thing about? Like, give me a little bit more. I'd love to pick his brain about what, you know, how deep this went and, and how much of a metaphor or, or how allegor- or al- allegorical it was. Yeah, I mean, it just... Uh, you know, a, a society of people living and living well who all seem to have their own problems but just don't acknowledge the cost that it comes at. Yeah. Or um, ignorant of. Exactly, or yeah. Choo- yeah, or choose to be ignorant. It's, uh, it's yeah, it's, uh, <laughs> it, it could, what could it possibly mean? The 11, <laughs> el- the 11, 11 as well, somebody said, I can't remember who said this, but it was the across the America, East Coast, West Coast, the Twin Towers and um, San Francisco Golden Gate Bridge. Mm. Um, so Those I hands don't know. Across America, hands across America. Hands across America, yeah. So that was quite another interesting little layer to it um, from a visual standpoint. Anything else, fellas? No, I think I'm just so it surprised, for me. man. My, da- my, my pick was going to be he, he was, I was, my pick was going to be you love the craft of it Isn't and it? you guessed the doppelganger thing from like a minute into the movie. <laughs> yeah. And you hated the clones. You hated the clone thing. Like that's what I was no, expecting. Yeah, no, no. I was expecting I just, you to that, fucking despise that because of the mechanical three, really. and the metaphorical nature of it. I, I thought you were going to be like, I want this to work. I was so on board with it, partially because I was I was kind of prepping myself and I was I was kind of keen for it being a supernatural <sighs> thing as well. Yeah. But like no matter what happened, I was going to be like, there's no way that the mechanics of this are going to work. So I just kind of threw that out the window at the beginning. Uh, and I kind of just, I was so involved with how this movie was made and how watchable it is that I just kind of didn't care about that. I still think supernatural films can, like The Conjuring, for example, or something like that. There's still a set of rules that apply there that I mean, keep yes. it keep a baseline so that it's not just like any old shit can happen. I mean, true, but it does give you a little bit more leeway in terms of Most what definitely, is possible. Most definitely, 100%. Not. Like it kind, of, it kind of takes the rule book and be like, no, Th- There's a loose really something relevant. there, but yeah. it's not concrete, yeah. Yeah, and then and then kind of beyond that, it was just, it was such a watchable film that I didn't really care. Yeah. Like that was the big thing. Like it was just, it wasn't worth getting up into a stink about. the. And again, the only thing I really kind of paused at and, and didn't really like was that, was that ending like that kind of her turning around and smiling and being like, Oh, she's the doppelganger and uh, yeah, whatever. Yeah. Give it another watch and see how you feel. Mm-hmm. I reckon. I mean, like I'll enjoy, like I, I know I'll enjoy picking out throughout the film, like all the little clues and all that kind of stuff. That's, that's cool. But yeah, I don't know. I, I, I have a feeling that I'll, at the end of it, I'll still have wished that, that, that at very least they kept it am, ambiguous. Mm. Any final Anyways. thoughts? All good. Can't say it again. Yeah, yeah me say, too. Yeah. Me too. There you have it, guys. Let us know what your thoughts of us are. It's a real fun one to chat about. And uh, we'll be back next week with another something or other. It's going to be great. Always, Connor. Bye. Benny. Hey, uh, yeah. Yeah,